Bathtub. Alpaca. Helium. Helis. Hello, everybody. <laughs> Welcome. <laughs> Yay. I'm so excited to be here. Where's we dumb? Yay. Missed- <laughs> I missed, um, I mistimed it. I mistimed it. Uh-huh. I had to hold that in for way too long. Oh yeah. And I'm fucking fucked up. We got to start off with some helium today. I would like to hear you do like a, an apology of some sort with some helium. Oh, Listen, I sometimes I still feel a little bit bad about the um, you know, like encouraging women to <laughs> hit other women. I just, I just, I, I don't actually want people to get hurt. I just want people to behave in public. You know what I mean? I just want people to be a little bit nice. <laughs> Nicer, so it doesn't have to come to that, ideally. Uh, woo, is that bad for my brain to have that much helium in? Do you yeah, want another hit? I'll take another hit. You want to start the show? Uh, yeah. All yeah, right, this you, is episode you, 44. Yeah, you go, you go ahead, and I'm just going to I'll push this, and you do the thing. Okay. Think, <laughs> we got Joe Paisley hitting yeah! the... Uh, whoa! <laughs> yeah. Oh, fuck! <laughs> we had a balloon. We had a balloon laying around the studio. We didn't want it to go to waste. <laughs> Damn it, dude! I get like—I mean, there's a little bit left. If you want to, yeah, I have one, one okay. more. I, I have some talking. I forgot how fun it is. Some talking. Okay, points. you do the talking. I'll do the healing hitting. So we have the live is we dumb June 10th looplive.com. You can buy your tickets right now at badmagicmerch.com. Uh, and we have something that. Yeah, we do. <laughs> what is it? That I. Uh, it hasn't come in the mail yet, as of the time that we're recording this. But we are hoping. That 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 stinkiest fish in the world challenge. Oh yeah, the stromonging or whatever the, like, it is. Fermented fermented fish. It's been in like a can and gets all over your mm-hmm. stuff. And we're gonna the do it. Never comes out. We're gonna do it live. Hell yeah! And I've never seen anybody watch it <sighs> uh, or try to eat it huh? that hasn't gagged and like almost thrown up and quit. So okay, we'll give that a go, which Good. I'm super excited about. <laughs> Again, you can buy your ticket. Thanks to everybody who has. Uh, already picked up your ticket and some of the yeah, live merch you. or the uh, exclusive merch for the live show. And again, that's all available right now at badmagicmerch.com. And it's just over a week from the from the day that this episode comes out. I was picturing, I was trying to help all the last of that helium. And I was picturing as you're talking like some of the show, <laughs> I literally just fall out of my chair unconscious. <laughs> I felt like that was how we were going to start the show. <laughs> like I, I, took it, I took it way too early. I'm sitting here holding it being like, this is a bad idea. Like I knew it was about it, and I was like, oh, "Hey guys!" And, like my eyes like went black for a second. <laughs> That'd be a tough thing to like get people's attention to if you passed out from like too much helium. <laughs> like t- to get people to act quickly and take you seriously. If you're like, "Guys, guys, please help me!" Wow! Like, this, this li- we missed the breath opportunity with the helium. This, this little high pitched voice. <laughs> please, guys, please help me! I'm I know I think I'm dying. I don't feel good. <laughs> Right. <laughs> oh, no. okay. God, come on, silly goose. Okay, go, joke's over. <laughs> right. Get up. Oh, no, but my heart is stopping. <laughs> come on, come get on. up, buddy. Get up, you big sissy boy. All right, follow us on Instagram and Facebook at Is We Dumb. Got the private Facebook group, Is We Dummies. Uh, we got a new segment today. Mm-hmm. And we're calling it, um, excuse me? <laughs> which which I'm excited about, and we will explain more once we get to the actual Great. segment. We'll have to do it right now. Okay. And before we get going into the very super most important starting question, the amount of dummies who have punched a farm animal uh, is either insane or encouraging, depending <laughs> on how you want to look at it. Uh, and we actually have a couple stories coming up on junk mail, uh, but I'm not kidding you. We had over a hundred emails in the last week <laughs> uh, from cow punching cow and horse punching. So many, so Those many, are the top two so cows many. and horses. I love that. That's our prime demographic. Our people, <laughs> people punch animals. People who work uh, with around farm animals and also punch them. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And and then there's um. We got to get sponsors that match that. Okay. It's like some kind of weird like <laughs> cow rage anti cow rage vitamin. A brass knuckle company. Oh my god. <laughs> go, a weird breast. Oh, that's, I'm going so dark now in my, okay. in my mind. So we stop so, I, I was thinking of like the uh, Kobayashi. What's that Kobayashi beef where they like, massage the cows? Oh, yeah, And it they tastes do. so good. Mm. Some <laughs> fucking super dark version of that where they beat the fuck out of these cows with brass MMA knuckles. MMA cows? MMA cows. And, but then it's like, it's so horrible for the cow. And like, it's such a tragic life. But it's the best thing you've ever eaten by far. <laughs> where you're like, God, I feel so fucking guilty. But God damn, this steak is good. How it got here. A little rough. I try to think about how it got here. <laughs> <laughs> just, just some cow's whole life. Just, pa, 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 pa. Just be his brass knuckle. Fucking pa, pa, pa. Gonna make you so tasty. <laughs> <laughs> 
So soft. <laughs> yet juicy. Yet juicy. <laughs> uh, and speaking of people oh. that should probably sponsor the show. Yeah. Uh, I love that Healy's um, oh, yeah. has caught on. Thank you to all of the dummies who have reached out and continue to pester them through the DMs. And then also posts that we've had, um, you know, also thanks to, to Logan Keith. Mm-hmm. Um, commenting on some of their stuff, and it just kind of caught fire, <laughs> and we would not stop harassing them, mm-hmm. and we got a DM saying, "Hey, let's set up a meeting." And you and Logan are going to take this meeting with them, and we're gonna, you guys are going to find out if we might be able to get real is we dumb Healy's, right? Yes. God, that's so great. I've never Healy's Healy's were before my time, so they're way before your time. You old motherfucker. <laughs> Uh, when I when I was um, a kid, we had special wheeled shoes that would like have like little training wheels on the side. <laughs> right. I, I picture like like the the Model T version of Heelys. <laughs> what what they would be? It's like there's no way to adjust them. Like the the wheel is always out. It's you fixed. have you have screw on little training wheels yeah. that you just like put on these old timey like leather shoes. <laughs> just coasted like they're just basically really shitty roller Look at skates. Me, Ma. <laughs> right, right. I'm the future. <laughs> <laughs> Wee! Jay, you just wearing roller skates. No, they're shoes with <laughs> wheels on them. Yeah, roller skates. No, it's different than that. They're holding. It's your, a new thing. They're hol- holding your like roller blades, your wheel skate, or your roller skates. <laughs> Danny, right here. You're like, no, not the same. No, but these are. Re- oh yeah, they, I know. You just put like regular roller skates on top of your shoes. But uh, kind of fine. Okay, these work way better. You don't have to ruin your shoes. Well, the, okay, the Heelys go in. They're inside the sole, like on the back side. You don't have to push anything to get them to come. Oh, nope. yeah, you just tilt. Yep. It's all about the tilt, mm-hmm. hence the Healy. Okay, that's right. And then when you're walking, you don't have to worry about the wheel just like, you know, fucking every and... day. Mm-hmm. I'm sure you do it to an extent. Yeah, it probably depends on your stride. Mm-hmm. Some people probably have like better he- a Healy stride. <laughs> Brad Brad is Brad on Healy's. <laughs> literally, it would just be like a, what do they call that? When the, a, a, per- a perpetual motion machine. They've been trying to get that, you know, like for energy. Kinetic like it, energy? Yeah, like it just keeps going. Mm-hmm. Uh, he would be just the perpetual Healy guy. Like you put him on one time, and if he was like wearing him on a hill, you just never see him again. Some engineers looking at him be like, hmm. they, they just have a whole factory that powers a whole city, and it's just Brad falling down on Healy's. And he just keeps spinning and generating enough energy. And everyone's like, go, Brad! To keep him fed, people just like throw him protein bars <laughs> and like bottles of water and stuff. <laughs> hey, yeah! Oh, God! <laughs> <laughs> I just picture them like in a weird zoo where they it's have like honest work. They have <laughs> they have signs, you know, do not take the Heelys off of Brad. <laughs> you know, like like don't touch the animals. Right. They just have to keep him in this kind of caged in area and fed with water and stuff, to, to, so that he never ever stops <laughs> falling. Just slightly uneven surfaces, <laughs> keep him in that house. He, he, <laughs> he somehow um, uh, adapts so he can even be asleep while he's perpetually falling. Right. Just. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, oh. A little hook, a little hook is like hanging him up, like he's on a, he's on a clothes rack. How do you feel, Brad? I'm, I'm tired. How's your sleep? It feels like I'm falling constantly. I had the craziest dreams. I fell asleep, but I just kept falling right through my nightmares. Oh, you mean like awake? Like same thing? Yeah. Uh, okay. <laughs> then, sorry, just to finish that. I know we've gone too far already. But then I picture him <laughs> finally stopping. Oh my god! Oh my god! Right. I finally stop, and then just me by get the fuck out of here. Just giving him a push. <laughs> no! The whole city is. <laughs> Brad, get him! Somebody push Brad! <laughs> Someone push Brad! He's figured it out. <laughs> <laughs> but if anything works out with Healy's, I swear to God, if we get Izzy yeah. dumb. And I believe we would have like whoa up the side of these <laughs> right. is we dumb or these is we dumb Heelys. Yeah, uh, we will one hundred percent be sure to let you know. Okay, so <laughs> all right, let's move on. Let's get the juices flowing. Zach, okay. push it. <laughs> Fuck yeah, dude. The very super most important starting question. I still feel a little weird from the helium. I do too a little bit. Hmm. What a sh- what a fun way to start the day. <laughs> uh, I was thinking I have to get this out of my system. <laughs> it's okay. It's the last dark thing I'll say about the beat up cow. <laughs> but, but I was picturing a waiter coming to your table and be like, uh, you can really taste the bruising <laughs> and the fear. Uh, excuse me. Uh, how hard was this, was this cow kicked the shit out of? Uh, this how, cow, how long? How we, long did they kick the shit out of this cow? <laughs> two weeks. Hmm. Hmm. Mm, okay. Now, this is no ordinary, like, I don't know, it'd be some fancy word for beaten cow. <laughs> like a uh, c- beaten cow. <laughs> Bataka cow. <laughs> I don't know. Some, but, but then they'd have like special. 
they'd have to set themselves apart from the other beaten cow mates, and they'd have now this particular cow. We hired a former UFC heavyweight champion. Like wine. With different aging. <laughs> right, right, exactly. For three years, <laughs> this former UFC champion beat the shit out of this cow on an hourly basis. <laughs> like That'd be the, the most, most expensive, expensive meat. Right. It's like a $10 I mean, million a, dollars a steak. Right. That's, I mean, that's that's 40 hours a week. <laughs> people, are, a cow. people are like, what, what's Chuck Liddell been up to? We had Chuck Liddell live in Japan for three years. Montage. <laughs> yeah, just a montage. <laughs> and specifically, just fight this cow for three straight years. It was so afraid of him. And you'd, be, you'd be surprised. <laughs> it, um, you had to punch it just hard enough. If you punch it too hard, right. uh, you're going to lose some money. Right, because right. now it's dead. Right, you, you can't keep can't kill it. it. Can't keep punching it. Chuck is a master of <laughs> keeping a cow very afraid and barely alive <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> to bring you the best burger you've ever had. I feel like if you went to that length, it would be Chuck Liddell. He would be coming out like Chuck. Come talk about it. <laughs> uh, yeah, man, I fucked that cow up <laughs> the like, whole time. He, he's punching it. <laughs> <laughs> See Betsy here, <laughs> <laughs> milk squirting out the udder. <laughs> <laughs> As you bop it, uh, I love that's a, that's a byproduct, right? Right. You're not expecting to make cheese, but you're welcome. <laughs> Chuck the Dell cheese, Chuck cheese the Dell cheese, <laughs> Chuck the Dell cheese sticks. The freshest cheese in the world. It's actually it comes out of the udder as cheese. <laughs> He's beaten the cow so thoroughly. They didn't, even think, they didn't even think cows could make cheese come straight out of the udders, but Chuck proved them wrong. <laughs> Fucking cheese it. Or squeeze or cheese it, right? You squirt yeah. it out? Yeah. The snap uh, thing? No, that's cheese or crackers. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Cheese whiz. Cheese, cheese whiz. whiz. Bingo. Bingo bango. Thank hey. you. Hey. I have a thing. It, Thanks, whenever Zach. you whenever you have a question about the lowest possible grade of food. <laughs> I'm your guy. Always. <laughs> You're like, I was just making fun of Zach last week. <laughs> You're like, what is... What is that like little chunks called that fall off like the the little hot dog griddles at the gas station? Delicious. He'd, right? he'd have like a term for that. Uh, that would be the the uh, station trimmings. Right. <laughs> They're half off after four p.m. Fuck you, man. Uh, Fuck love you, it, bro. Love it. Oh, uh, Zach, I'm just glad you're alive, buddy. That's yeah. <laughs> fair. That's a fair assessment. Okay, so. <laughs> <laughs> this very super most important starting question was sent okay. in by Dummy Scott. And it's a mouthful, but it's a fun mouthful. You'll get it. Would you rather have to lick a complete random <laughs> stranger's butthole every time you enter <laughs> or exit what if your I was home? Like, yeah, done. Yeah, that one. <laughs> oh, sorry. There's more? Okay. Or have to cut off your fingers once per year, but they will grow back in six months, <laughs> leaving you with normal hands for half a year. Ah... <laughs> uh. <laughs> every, time, every time you enter or exit your home, god damn it, you have to lick a stranger's a random stranger's butthole, so you don't even get to pick the butthole. Sure, but I think the starting but, block it's here. Butthole, butthole roulette. <laughs> it is. That's a scary roulette. That's a picture <laughs> in, in Russia. You gotta be Oof. kidding. That's the worst man. Russian butthole roulette. Oh man, there's some nasty. You know, there's some <laughs> even like a good butthole on a bad day <laughs> is a little nasty. A good butthole on a good day. Good butthole and a good butt and a good day is still a butthole. But if you get a bad butthole on a bad on day. a bad day, oh, that's that's unbearable. Just and how much do you have to do you have to lick it clean? I think you just lick, like a like, like a, a quick like a, like a, a tootsie little, pop, yeah, like a little, little quick hey. little, mm, little taster and lick. Then pat him on the butt. Have a good day. Have a good day. Get on it. Get on out of here. <laughs> Smack him. Get out there and seize okay, the we day. Have, we do have to establish. Like the the uh, intensity of the lick. Okay, so that's fine. One, like a one, like a uh, like a really like thorough lick, tongue like, out slowly, passionately. Like you're expected to be invested mm -hmm, type of lick. Mm -hmm, like okay. really, mm, like like really like getting you're a down. solid lick. You're down. You've been down the whole time. Like that type of lick. Or a little like uh, like uh, like uh, like a turtle poke. Like a quick like, little whip, yeah, uh, whip up. <laughs> right, right. Yep. Because that, that's a big difference. Because yeah, if, it's it a qu if it's a quick little, it's a little quick hitter. Like, little, ah, like you know, like you just. What a fucking living fear. <laughs> <laughs> like, I picture, like, I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> like, the tiny lick would be like, you know, like when kids are little and you're like, come on, just try this food. Yeah. And, th and they will try, like, Kyler was the master of this. He would get a, he would whittle it down. To where it would be like the tip of like a ballpoint pen, and he'd be like, "I don't like it," and I'm like, "Dude, there was nothing there for you to even taste." But it was like, but he's like, "I tried it. Like, I technically tried it." No, no, you tasted your fingernail. Like, <laughs> right, right. put more food in there. Right. You can actually take a bite. <laughs> Dumb. But like, so, and there can be like the lick equivalent of that. Just a little tiny little poke, like you said, a dab, a little dab. 
If it's a dab, a kiss. that changes it for me. If, if it's a dab, I might just do the butthole. I'm like, it's terrible, mm. but I got my fingers still. I like I like having fingers. <laughs> me too. Let's think about it. But if but- it's a passionate like, whoo, right. out. <laughs> so, you, I mean, we're talking about good, bad buttholes. I think yeah. that that is determined by, mm. is it a morning butthole lick? So when you're out the door, because right. you have to do it when you enter or exit your home. Right. In the morning, statistically, better butthole to lick. Right. <laughs> People have showered the night before mm-hmm. or the mm-hmm. morning of. Hopefully. But yeah. at night, you're getting a work all day, sit in a chair butthole. Right. And that sucks. And that's how you end your day. And, and with someone else's oh. dirty butthole. And that's been pooping and farting mm-hmm. all day. Mm-hmm. And then random, it's like, you know, what if you get somebody who's been like camping for a couple of days? <laughs> you know? <laughs> a couple and there's years. Someone, a couple years. <laughs> there's and, some dude who's never stopped camping. And there's he was born camping oh. and he's still been camping ever since. And I mean, I just think about, when I think about buttholes, I think about like <laughs> how people, like some people don't wash their hands very much. Mm-hmm. Like, like if you see somebody whose their face is greasy, like they don't wash their face ever, they have just poor hygiene. Yeah. I've, I've made a joke about this in stand-up, I think, on an album years ago about this exact thing I'm saying, basically. I'm just saying a different version of it. But it's like, it is, it's, it, I still think it, where it's like, if you see somebody and their hair is, you know, like, like, uh, they haven't washed it in a week, they don't wash their skin, their teeth are all caked. I'm yep. like, their butthole, <laughs> if, if their face isn't getting attention. <laughs> right. Their butthole has never been washed. There's no way. There's no fucking way. The, it part, is just... the billboard is dirty. Right. Like the backside of the billboard, fucking disgusting. <laughs> right. It's right. super bad. Yeah, it's like if you go, yeah, yeah, exactly. You go into a restaurant <laughs> and the fucking counters, everything you can see is filthy. It's like there's no way that the basement or whatever, like or wherever they store the food is going to be fucking clean. <laughs> It's, it's going to be like no one, one ever, ever cleans it. This restaurant is one out of five stars upstairs. Right. Down in the basement, five out of five. <laughs> right. Super yeah. clean down here before right. anything happens. Exactly. Wow. Never. Unbelievable. So, oh, that is so and then horrific if, if to you think were to about. reverse I, it uh, and think about the stranger. I got to cut my fingers off. <laughs> you think about the stranger that has to show up to get their butthole licked. Is that like jury duty? Mm. Like, do you have yeah, to go? Like you're it? like, oh, man. Like, you get selected. You're two weeks out. And you get a little notice in the mail, and you're like, oh, man, I got to go to Dan's house on the morning of July 3rd what a and get cr- my butthole licked. What a crazy way to start your day. Like, if you had, like you're walking out of your house for work, and then you're like, fuck, here we go. You're the licker. You're sad. Person had their butthole licked. Happy. <laughs> right. Maybe happy. So maybe you're spreading happiness. But I was picturing it sad. What if it's sad? But what if they don't want their butthole licked? They're self-conscious about well, too it. Too bad. And I'm just picturing this really sad scenario where they're like, I'm so sorry about this. And then you're down there like, fuck you. <laughs> You'd have to take out an ad campaign Yeah. to make people like- Please start washing your buttholes. <laughs> no, please do. Right. Exactly. Oh, I, 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 I thought you said don't. Oh, yeah. No, I said please start washing them. <laughs> oh, start. Start. I yeah. heard don't. I yeah, was yeah. Like, okay, that's weird. Why don't no, you just flip them. it? The dirtier the butthole, dirty the better. the better. Well, you know, you could lean in that way. People get weird fetishes. <laughs> You could just be like, you know what? I fucking love a stinky ass butthole. <laughs> it's the best. And just really like try and double down on it. <laughs> and just try to like like Pavlovian condition yourself to like, oh, I fucking love dirty butthole. But then you're like, what a weirdo you are. <laughs> where yeah. where it's just like <laughs> hanging around dumpster, just beaten off, like <laughs> and standing in a dumpster, be like, this is what I fucking want. You have you have dirty diaper like on your right, face. Exactly. I, actually what... that, that made me creeped out because then there was a baby involved. But oh, like he... a dirty adult or diaper. Super adult, yeah, super old person. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> You're welcome. Ah! Uh, I, okay, jumping back to God. the ad campaign. You could be like, if ew, listen, if you clean your butt and I have to lick it, mm-hmm. free ice cream. So people show up, the butt's clean enough, little ice cream coupon, mm-hmm. and then have a good day. Hope I, I don't see you again. I picture that working like best case, like two out of five or something. Maybe a little bit more. But then even if it works, let's say four out of five. Then that fifth time, you just get some fucking troll. It's <laughs> showing up and be like, fuck your ice cream, lick my butthole. <laughs> God Well, guess it. what? You're licking the butthole regardless of how bad they want it or not. <laughs> So fuck that troll. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna go fingers. I'm okay. gonna cut my, yeah, I'm gonna f- cut my fingers, fingers off. Fingers off. I mean, that is you're done. But I got, but I got it for half the year. You got it for half the year. But the other one, you got. It's gonna be a rough half of the year. <laughs> the only other job you can have without the fingers. Guess huh? what? Punching cows. Punching cows. <laughs> <laughs> you could be uh, whatever we call it. Uh, Beta Munican. Half, half the year, we could just host a different podcast called <laughs> "Man, I Wish I Had My Fingers Back." <laughs> Yeah. You know? Hey, what do you? What kind of things do you wish you were doing right now? Oh man, brushing yeah. my teeth. Oh my god, a pencil. What? A, <laughs> all this shit. Hey, ha- jerking off. <laughs> a podcast that only runs half a year called "What I Would Do If I Had Fingers Right Now." <laughs> Just some like crazy. Ass and the other back. one is like, "They gotta have some fingers." <laughs> it's the companion podcast. God, they, they gotta have some fingers. <laughs> so anyway, back on week two of <laughs> "Wish I Had My Fingers Back." You were super frustrated not, about not being able to hold the soap. Right. How do you feel now? Well, I can hold the soap. Oh, it's great. That's great. Ding, ding, ding. Ding, ding, ding. <laughs> Join us next week. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I am going to pick fingers half the year. Okay. Because I just can't take 
No. And, and, and psychologically, I would be so worried about the, what kind of butthole am I going to get tomorrow? Mm. next time I leave the house. It's not even tomorrow. It's like, I'm forgetful. I leave things. There's then I have this thing of like, fuck, now I don't get to have my phone all day because I have to lick another butthole <laughs> or maybe two buttholes just to go in. I got to lick one butthole when I go in. If you and then I got to lick another butthole when I leave. <laughs> And then what if you're like racing out the door and you forgot like, oh shit, I left the fucking stove on. Well, better make Am I going to burn the house down or am I going to lick two more buttholes? <laughs> well, choice right. is yours. I like to cut my fingers off and put them in a butthole. Interesting. Cool. Could, could you just never leave the house and order everything on Amazon to get around this one? You yeah, could. But that's sad. Sad life. No butthole licking loser. <laughs> right. All the other things are less sad. <laughs> right. You're right. I get it. <laughs> right. <laughs> I know. It's all sad. They're always, it's always sad with the would you rather. I do love a good butthole. Yeah. I don't know. All oh. right. You want to move on? Sure. This is our brand new segment. Zach, push the sounder. That'd be great. Thanks. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Um, excuse me. So as you can see, this is called, um, oh, excuse me. Do we ever address why we have boobs on the desk? Nope. Do you want to? 20 minutes into the show. Um, <laughs> we got Operation Sunshine Boner for my birthday. I think I talked about it last week. If I did, thanks everybody. I thanked him on time. Oh, yeah, right, right, right. But we had this pizza and porn, just random nonsense sent to the studio. And one one thing that was sent from the people on the uh, Time Suck Discord <laughs> were these boob slippers. Just the most ridiculous product. Like, oh, uh, like um, They are comfy. Oh, I'm Two year from internet kind right, of product. Right, right. I'm feeling inside. Guess what? You could fuck it. Oh, yeah. Soft you enough. can fuck it. Hmm? If you, I'm Make that, that happen. If you want to fuck that. Uh, 16-year-old <laughs> me would definitely be uh, MacGyvering this into uh, some kind of vagina. <laughs> I knew it. So here's the the baseline for, um, excuse me, it's a segment we're going to be looking at like just dumb everyday products, okay. household items that we can't stand, or just idiotic things that a certain collection of humans do for whatever fucking reason. Yeah. Um, it's like, I can't believe that this happens and it's not the only one. It's not an isolated issue. There's many of them. Okay. Like, um, Zach. And he goes to the gas station and right. scrapes the, the hot, trimmings out. The hot dog from, trimmings. The hot dog trimmings out. And then puts them onto a salad, <laughs> which he also got out of the trimmings from the salad machine. And by salad, you mean Hot Pocket. Yeah, what, <laughs> by what, salad, I mean Hot Pocket burrito. What is the salad you're talking about? I don't know what those are. <laughs> it's a salad hamburger. All the meats, or all the, all the lettuce is made out of, out of meat. Is that what weirdos <laughs> call lettuce? <laughs> it is now. Uh, <laughs> so uh, I'll, I'll start with an example of the, the um, excuse me. Okay. This is something that has made me... Uh, mad, prob uh, for a really long time, at least in, t in since since college or late high school. Okay, and I've just never understood why this particular thing has been made this way. And it might be one of the biggest failures as uh, being a human, uh -huh. as humanity has ever done. I understand that people used to be shorter. <laughs> like maybe back in <laughs> yeah. the 1600s, oh, yeah. I was above average height wise. Yeah, they're like, whoa, that guy's a giant. Mm -hmm. And now I'm five nine. Everyone's like, you're fucking tiny. So maybe it was made back when people were were super tiny, but but I, but bathtubs have been were, fucking short yeah, yeah for the beginning of time, and everyone was like, "That's fine, that's fine, that's a fine length." Anyone who lays down in a bathtub, yeah, I'm five nine. My knees and my legs are halfway up the wall. If I want to lay down and get my belly wet, yep, it's a little a little belly soak. <laughs> the, I mean, yeah, your dick floats around a little bit like a yeah. weird buoy. You know, just kind of a <laughs> yep, little, yep. little, little, hey. <laughs> and that's funny. But outside of that, your feet are up. Right. You can, unless you want to sit straight up like some sort of no, propped they're, they're mannequin. Too small. They're too small. You have to, you know, be stuffed in there and be yeah. like, mm -hmm. huh? this is great. I'm going to sit straight up and uh, hello, everybody. Like, no one wants to be in a bathtub like that. Right. So why are they so short? Who did this? And, I, and I'm, a ba I'm a bath guy. And people didn't use, yeah, and, and, they were, and they were too tiny a while back because, yes, we've gotten taller overall. Sure. But but not that taller. <laughs> right. Like, like it's not back like, in the day were two feet tall. <laughs> right. Like, that's the only, like, a three foot would tall human that. would fit in a bathtub right now. I would love that if George Washington was one of the tallest people of his day and he was two foot one inches tall. Just to think about, like, all the wars <laughs> being fought. Back to the helium. Get him! Charge! <laughs> Can you imagine if, like, somehow we just skipped that? We just we never learned that? And that, that they were that much smaller? And then someday you get a time machine and you go back to the Revolutionary War and you're like, what the fuck? You're just <laughs> like a fucking giant, like jolly green giants. Right. Compared to all these, like, little people. Like, oh, I'm going to dominate so fucking hard back here. <laughs> yeah. Stop. Just Godzilla stomping Them people. and their horse. Tiny little tents. <laughs> like, these, these are George Washington's teeth. Looks like a vanilla wafer. <laughs> 
These are wooden teeth. Uh, just picture, uh, just okay. Uh, somehow just never picking up at me, uh, on that at museums and stuff. <laughs> and they're like, and here's, uh, you know, this is, uh, I can't remember George Andrew, Washington's. Andrew Jackson's jacket. Right. And it's, it looks like a fucking Ken doll jacket. It's like, wait, what? A Cabbage who's, Patch Kids jacket. He was that little? Oh, yeah. Wow. No, everybody was, it's so cute. Everybody, <laughs> the White House has been upgraded like 400 times. It used to be the size of a dollhouse <laughs> for all the tiny presidents. <laughs> <laughs> with their tiny little pants love, making big deals I was thinking that people were that tiny 200 years ago <laughs> but they'd have to be to fit in a fucking bathtub uh, yeah and that is the thing the bathtubs are way yeah I mean we talked about this before and I, and I was like oh yeah they are like they are way too small that's why I never take a bath You're right because it's, it's not comfortable no it's like not a hotel, close not even close and I'm, I'm 6'2 and I feel like like way too big <laughs> for these bathtubs and I'm like that's like, basically like an it's close to an average. There's a lot of people sure. who are that who are that tall or or taller, and I'm like, well, yeah, why? Who decided that we're just going to make bathtubs only comfortable for people who are four eight and shorter, right? Or people that only want to sit up all the time, right? Because I mean, you can you can get in there. You can if your back is straight up against the back wall, yeah, and you just like you're in, like half your body's out of the water. Uh -huh. I'm not sure why you would take a bath like that. Uh, but if you do that, your feet might fit in there. Like you, your legs yeah. like whoop, and have a nice little spot. The bathtub designers just assume that like bathtubs are just mostly for kids. Oh, that's rude. Because I love baths. Yeah, I'm, I'm, a, bath, was, I'm a bath guy. Yeah, if it I was, like them. Uh, do you? Yeah, if it was comfortable, I would like a relaxing bath from time mm -hmm. to time. Right. Yeah, they, but it's, it's not. So I never think of it. No, no idiots use these besides little kids. <laughs> what? No. But it, how easy would it be? Right. Even if it were uh, starting now, to just move forward yeah. and everyone was who's getting a house built. Yeah. Or anything. They're like, change you know the size of the standard bathroom. Just change the bathtub. size. Let's go two feet bigger. Mm -hmm. A little bit longer. Mm -hmm. It's making comfortable for everybody. Not just tiny presidents. Yeah. Yeah. What are, what, are, what are all those norms get established? Like who decided like bath bathrooms need to be this big. So the bathtub must be this big. You can have know. different sizes. Right. Because I get it. If you're they like have luxury tubs and those yeah. are sweet. If you're in a studio apartment and you have a very small space. A kitchen then, sink. <laughs> <laughs> then maybe you're going to have, and, and somehow you want it, for some reason you also want a bathtub. You're probably going to have a small bathtub. Right. But if you're in like a, a standard suburban, you know, rancher or whatever, mm -hmm. and there's plenty of square footage. You have room for a much bigger bathtub, but it's not even a consideration. Uh -huh. Like no, nobody. Like you know, you look at like, oh, this house is a three-two. This house is a three-two and a half. But no one's ever like, uh, well, this this house is a three-two, but it has fucking bathrooms <laughs> that have bathtubs that are actually comfortable. Right. Like you, I, you, I would it's, spend it's, extra for like. Um, excuse me, what? You go in there and it's yeah. two. You're like, whoa. Because I feel like life changing. It's, it's tiny tub or jacuzzi tub. <laughs> Right, and, and, and there should there should be a happy middle because be. I think there's a lot of people who want like a bigger tub but not a jacuzzi tub. Right, and you go back to the the day. I mean, they are cool tubs. The yeah. ones that are deep, the, like the deep big, the big cast claw. iron ones, mm -hmm. the claw, the claw tubs. foot. Yeah. yeah, like that. Even those you have to sit up in. Which, but at least like it forces you to sit up because they're so fucking deep. Maybe a lot of people used to drown in bathtubs. That and is that, sweet. Maybe there's an epidemic we don't know about. Mm. That's a legal thing. Is, right, yeah. right. They're like, oh, we got to make this a little bit smaller. I'm not so dumb deeper, people, so stupid fuckers. people don't drown. Right. <laughs> I didn't say six feet oh deep. Oh my god, deeper. That'd be hilarious <laughs> if they misunderstand. Like, like the people at the um, uh, whoever makes like, the standard sizes. And they're like, I don't know about this, and they just got it wrong. And instead of like, yeah, six feet long, they're six feet deep. And they, <laughs> this is not poor, very comfortable. <laughs> poor, Treading poor water. Poor kids are being sent in these fucking death pits. These watery death pits. Swim, swim, swim up. Oh shit. <laughs> up. Hop <laughs> Jacob. Oh shit. Lost oh, another. Oh, yeah. oh well. Our child just wasn't buoyant enough. <laughs> right. Wasn't buoyant wasn't a buoyant baby. Uh anyway, so I hate it. Okay. And I Fair. wish that there was a petition I could sign or at least a GoFundMe for bigger just a standard. The standard is so much on the dumb side. It makes no sense to me. I would uh, Yeah, exactly. It's just I, I hate it. Yep. That's it. So um excuse me, we'll be looking at dumb things like that. Things that we have just accepted. Over mm. the course of time, that you makes that, that you don't want to accept anymore. No, it doesn't make any sense. Mm -hmm. It's it's ridiculous that they're so short. Yep, I do. I mean, I am thinking about taking a bath right now. Do you mm. use candles when you take a bath? No, mm. I don't. Because candlelight with like your dick buoy like floating around <laughs> is just a weird mood. Do you play soft music? Nope. You read? Nope. What are, I you, guess what are you doing I there? Thumb through the socials. You're on your phone in your tub. It's mm -hmm. not relaxing. Uh, well, kind of. Hmm. It's better than not being in the tub on my socials. <laughs> Okay. You know what I mean? Okay. <laughs> All right, let's take a look at Dumb Dumb Idiots for this week. You ready? I'm ready. All right, dive it in. Dumb. Dumb, dumb. Dumb, dumb. Dumb, dumb. Idiot. 
Not sure how this guy thought he was going to get away with this. Okay. But a North Shore pizzeria owner fraudulently obtained $660,000 in PPP funds. Wow. Good man. Then he sold the eatery and bought an alpaca farm in Vermont. I got to say, I like this guy's style. <laughs> I mean, maybe he wasn't going to get away with it, but I love that he found like some kind of loophole. Mm -hmm. And he's like, oh my God, they'll just keep giving me more PPP loans. <laughs> but the loophole was lying. Okay. About how big your business was. True. True. <laughs> but, but but I love how weird it is where he's like, <laughs> he's like, what if I just get all these loans uh -huh. and I say, fuck this pizza place. And I finally get to have my dream of an alpaca farm. Right. <laughs> so it's so weird. I love that that was his dream. Mm -hmm. Ever since I was a boy. <laughs> One of the, the North Shore pizzerona, uh, pizzeria owner made quite the life changing or life change after fraudulently obtaining more than $660,000 in federal funds intended to help small businesses survive the COVID-19 pandemic, according to the Massachusetts U.S. Attorney's Office. After receiving the forgivable pay, uh, pay, Paycheck Protection Program, the PPP loan, Dana L. Uh, McIntyre sold his eatery, which is Rasta Pizza Pizzeria, Pizzeria in Beverly, and used the money for personal expenses, including to purchase and upgrade a farm in Vermont, <laughs> as well as to buy uh, several alpacas uh, and at least two vehicles, uh, weekly uh, airtime for uh -huh. cryptocurrency-themed radio I show, that. among other expenses. I love I love because you know that dumbass was talking about <laughs> his PPP loans on his cryptocurrency show. Right. That's know? how he got caught? <laughs> I, 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 I wonder, that's how he got caught. Here's how I got away with it. Here's how you do this, guys. <laughs> if you want to change your life, you got to do this now because it's not going to last forever. Uh -huh. What you do is it, I found this loophole where if you check these boxes, then you get to have like nine times as much in your PPP loans. L learn to cook pizza mm -hmm. or pretend you know how to cook pizza. And the next step is lie. <laughs> Talk about pizza, <laughs> then lie. And then you get all this money and then you get your alpacas <laughs> right. and some Bitcoin. <laughs> like what, a, what, a, what an interesting character this guy is. I'd like to meet him. Pizza place, uh, fucking cryptocurrency, alpaca farm. <laughs> right. This guy's a fucking weirdo. I, I, I'm picturing um, big conspiracy theorists. Oh, yeah, probably. I'm picturing like like Flat Earth, uh, you know, QAnon, whatever. Like, I, I'm just like, like the vibe. Like, the alpaca farm was some kind of dystopian fantasy. Mm -hmm. I bet that, I bet also on the alpaca farm is like a bunker of some sorts. <laughs> you know, he's, he's awaiting the end times. He he's going to have all his alpaca meat. Right, but there's one special alpaca that gets to go in the bunker. <laughs> Uh, George. George? His <laughs> favorite alpaca? Right. Gets to come down with him? Mm -hmm. Custom oh, stairs. I wonder if there is something like this. Now I'm picturing like he did a bunch of research and it's like, you know, you can use the alpaca fat to fucking make, a, I don't know, a candles pillow. or yeah, pillow or whatever. And then you have like your clothes you can make out of the alpaca. I don't even know what alpacas have. Wool? <laughs> alpaca wool. <laughs> you got your alpaca bones. You can make fucking flutes out of. I don't know. Drumsticks. Drumsticks. Keep you entertained. <laughs> right. Down right. there. <laughs> he just brings the whole, the, the, all the entertainment. He just walks it in to his bunker. <laughs> uh, uh, shooting practice. I don't know. Practice. Uh, teeth sharpeners. Uh, uh, but I love. I, yeah, I love that. Um, that he just basically. It reminds me of the book. Like I'm, I'm sure you've read it to your kids. But if you give a mouse a cookie, or if you give a moose a muffin, have you no, read any of those? I, I don't know those. It's basically like if you give. Uh, if you give somebody an inch, they'll take a mile. Oh, uh, okay. It's kind of the the whole game plan of this. Mm -hmm. <laughs> where this dude, like he maybe maybe he had a, a decent bakery pizzeria. <sighs> Right, pasta place, and he got it, and he's like, "Oh fuck, oh man!" He's, money. Like, he's like, "Wow, I got a hundred thousand dollars. Let's see where I can take this." And they were never satisfied until they ended up in the middle of nowhere with alpacas, and they're like, <laughs> "Sweet!" <laughs> <laughs> and in crypto radius, he's like, "Do do do." Like, he had the alpaca farm; he could have mm -hmm. gotten away. No right. one would ever know if he stopped right there. And he goes, "You know what? Cryptocurrency radio yeah, show would be dope." Radio he radio just kept show. on reaching out. That all he feels fucked like, himself over. That all feels like such a COVID thing too. Like, well, like what if he actually was content <laughs> running a pizza shop, and then COVID hit, and then his pizza shop got shut down uh -huh. because it's a mask mandate or you know whatever, some kind of business mandate, and now he's on the computer all the time, and he goes into the wrong fucking four chan board, <laughs> and then his life just takes a downward spiral. Like he just gets comes across <laughs> the wrong. He's like, well, you know the you know the if uh, the government cared about you, they'd uh, tell you the real benefits of alpacas, <laughs> right. and he gets into some weird like alpaca forum, and he's like, you know, alpaca is four times as cheap as beef right. and alpaca he's like well, how, how come i haven't been told about alpaca because they don't fuck it big pharma that's why <laughs> that's and it's the chemtrails uh -huh. and like he starts going down that path oh, yeah. like, god he's, damn it yeah, it all makes sense now jet talk <laughs> jet talk he's right he's right he's right yeah alpaca is number one <laughs> no, <laughs> alpaca is the new mascot of fucking jet talks jet talk. <laughs> I picture some fucked up war room, you know, like the classic uh -huh. conspiratorial thing where they have like the yarn connecting all the dots. Right. And the first connection is an alpaca. It's just a big <laughs> picture of an alpaca. And that fucking somehow gets you to like lizard people and everything, but it all traces back to alpaca meat. Right. I'm not sure why I keep picturing this, but the alpaca in my brain has like an emo like comb over. 
Like a soup, like over the eye. Alpacas look a little emo. Okay, cool. Yeah. Because I know llamas can have those cuts, but I guess they're kind of the same thing, right? Llamas and alpacas are very close, I feel like. Now I'm trying to picture like random, like dashboard confessional, like, uh, <laughs> right. you know, e- like emo Lead like singer people. Of, a, of some band. Looks right. like an alpaca. And alpacas. I'm doing side by sides in my head of alpacas. I'm like, yeah, that plays. I wanna, I'm trying to find a. Uh, sure, this guy. Maybe that's why I had the. Bring it up on the screen, Zach. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> this guy. <laughs> so, oh, my God. Just a wet emo comb mm-hmm. over. Look mm-hmm. at the guy in the background, like, yeah. Yeah. We're, we, our band's doing pretty good. We just got signed to a new label. <laughs> can I come into the bunker? You always let George in. <laughs> right, it's raining right. out here. Please let me in. <laughs> oh, I wish I could just like whip out like an alpaca themed emo song right now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we'll put it on. Uh, we'll sell it on the merch this store. is all the wool I have for you. Better pay for them. Yo! <laughs> I can't. I can't do the right. You're good at the intonations for different styles of music. Like I can't remember what like what the classic kind of way of doing an emo song you're, is. You're good. Just holds that uh, that high, right? That high <laughs> note over and over again, repeating it. And I can't give too much wool for you. <laughs> right. Just just something. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Know. Yes. I don't know. You're doing it. Okay. You're doing a great job. Uh, let's move on. It's just another. Uh, bo- oh, wait, Zach. I saw. I heard you click in. Do you have something you want to say? Swinging my fist through a swarm of alpacas and I. <laughs> yes. Exactly. Wool well, on my table. Right. Okay. He gets it. We're working on it. Yes. Not good. Uh, <laughs> this next one uh, also involves a boss of some sort. Uh, just a different setting. Okay. So this is just a question that was posted. My employer mm. paid me in crypto. So much crypto talk. Mm-hmm. It rose 700 in value. Now he wants employees <laughs> to return the crypto and accept dollars. Get the fuck out of here. I know. So listen to what this motherfucker did. So I, I got, I'm guessing this website from someone who like, asked Quentin. Oh, sure, sure. Because it opens up with a doc. All right, dear Quentin, I did some business development work for a tech company on a contract basis. The CEO stated that I'd be paid in crypto when I started the work in the spring of 2020. He added a clause to the contract stating the company may elect to pay in U.S. standard dollars. So I struck out that part of the contract because I was going, I wasn't going, or I was going to risk getting paid in crypto and the price all of a sudden appreciated. I didn't want the company to revert to paying me in USD, yeah. which makes absolute perfect sense. Yep. So in August 2020, I received a payment for the contract work in cryptocurrency. Since then, the prices of cryptocurrency have skyrocketed. As of the moment, wow. the crypto that I received payment has gone up 700%. I hope he sold a week or so ago. <laughs> right. Today, I received an email from the CEO stating something along the lines of since you did not generate any revenue for the company and are not currently doing any follow-up work please send back all the crypto received in august 2020 you can what? invoice the company for the hours worked in usd so basically stating that i can invoice in usd at seven times less than what the crypto is worth today <laughs> how, what the balls on like this right, company like, right. i feel like you just write back hey how about instead of that go fuck yourself <laughs> Right. But uh, last paragraph I'll read here. Please note that there have been several other people trying to sell the company solutions. It is a startup, and so far they are still trying to generate their first dollars in sales. The purpose of the contract was to generate sales and has included a commission component. But the underlying was that oh, uh, the understanding, yeah. understanding was that I'd be billed hourly mm. for cold calling and mm-hmm. emailing people, yep. generating proposals, setting up meetings, participating in and leading pitches, etc., etc., with yeah. the goal of generating revenue. Yeah, so they're just trying to steal from this person now. Exactly. Th- they're mad, like they're got a startup, like they got investment, like it's not working out. Right. And I get the frustration there, but it's like, yeah, but you agreed to pay this person in this kind of currency. Absolutely. And then, yeah, now all of a sudden it's like it's seven times in value. That's just, I've never heard of someone trying to do that. It's brutal. I picture it, uh, I, I don't know why, but I throw it back to like the medieval days, mm-hmm. like before cryptocurrency. Yeah. Uh, it gets back to bartering. Right. When like... Uh, you're, it's uh, the weather is warm. Yeah, and you paid somebody to help you farm in beaver pelts, right? Or things that made blankets. Yeah, uh, like a bear, a bear skin. Yeah, and the weather got cold. You're like, ah, shit. Ah, I, need, I need those beaver anyway, skin I uh, promise, pelts back. I was going to pay you in chicken. <laughs> Right. What? I don't eat chicken right now. Right. Uh, well, it's, I, I t- look at the contract. I told you that if it got cold, I could pay you in hey, chicken. Hey, I meant to say I was going to pay you in banana hammocks. <laughs> right. And so I'll give you some banana hammocks and some swimsuits and stuff right now, but I need those blankets. <laughs> Dick leaves. <laughs> I have the, no, it's a big, I, I, great. They're, uh, they're uh, reinforced maple leaves <laughs> and they will cover, uh, yeah, and the balls. Uh, what? 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 Why? Why are you? Why are you so mad? I just don't understand how. Like, it, this, I'm I'm surprised this person's even writing into like a dear Quentin. To me, it's just so obvious. Mm-hmm. Where it's like, yeah, once you've been paid, 
Well, I mean, I mean, like you work. I mean, can you imagine if I was like, hey, hey, Joe, um, the money we paid you last work uh, or last month for the work that we said you were going to pay that much for, mm-hmm. can you just give it back because like the dollar's kind of gone up now? Okay, and then we'll give you a different currency that's worth less than that. Oh, I, I understand. <laughs> <laughs> like it just you're just oh, stealing right. and you're nodding yeah you're like, yeah, yeah. You, you understand right right i think i do <laughs> i'm sad because that is kind of what it is <laughs> yeah it's 100 it, it's like if i just found some it's like hey <laughs> like gold and silver like if one goes up one goes down it's right just, just like swap it up like no this right. month we're gonna pay you in the one that's worth less hey do i know i know i paid you an x like dollars but what if i paid you that same x but in pesos <laughs> and you can just give me the dollars back and i'll give you pesos and you're like yeah but that's gonna be like seven dollars listen no listen no, no just think about it listen you're focusing on the wrong part of it just focus on the number I'm just asking. To, I'm, I'm being fair. I'm asking for a number to number direct equal swap. I just gave you half a million pesos, and, you, and you're mad about right, that. You're, oh, you're upset. Oh, call, call, call down to our neighbors to the south. Let them let them know that you don't think half a pay, half a million pesos is very much. I try to make you look racist for not accepting <laughs> exactly. being like stolen from. Oh, okay. So you don't like Mexico? Wait, what? Right. Oh, oh, so pesos, oh aren't, pesos aren't good enough for you now. Right. Okay, I see what's going on here. No, I just want I just want the money you told me I was gonna have that I already fucking put in my own bank account. That's what's crazy is this person already got the money. Yep, trying to move on the balls. I know. I'm get, I'm just gonna go and that's insane. And have to just go back to the fact that things must not be going well. I, exactly. Because if they were going great, no, nope, you never asked that. Never would ask. You you would understood that that was the thing that you did. But right now it somebody, must be on the verge of just collapsing. Yep, somebody sleep deprived. Mm-hmm. And and they're desperate and they're pulling their hair out and they're just like just ask, just ask him for the money back <laughs> just just ask him for the money but give us the money back <laughs> all the people who work for us just see if you can just get them to give us the money back just like one crazy CEO he's just fucking he's pa- <laughs> pasty he hasn't eaten right he's just like oh my god he's like he's losing everything he's losing his house and he's trying to think like okay we're not selling anything oh I got it I ask all the employees just give them all of our money back <laughs> just fucking ask him to give us our money back it's like you- my wife's up my ass about losing the house like he's just crazy <laughs> and on a bigger scale just applied to like bill gates elon musk jeff bezos like things aren't going oh well my God. amazon he's like all right well give us our stuff back <laughs> you just ask everybody to give our stuff back <laughs> you just get like a random if you've email. gotten a, if you've gotten anything hey. from amazon in the last year uh please send it back just get a weird call from jeff bezos <laughs> hey hey dan this is jeff bezos yeah you know those uh, duracell double a batteries you bought 50 of them last month mm-hmm. is there any way you could send me those back <laughs> Because, uh, I made a big mistake. I made a big mistake. I sold, I sold too many batteries. Could you? <laughs> could you? <laughs> <laughs> it's just like the weirdest. Or like Elon Musk. Hey, I'm a, uh, is there any way you could drive that Tesla that, we, that you just bought just kind of back to the dealership and just and just give it to us? <laughs> just get the fuck out Wait, of here. No, but I paid for it. I know you did. But we're, <laughs> things are we're hurting over here. Listen, this isn't me, 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 me. Listen. This it's not time to talk about you. Hey, this isn't about you. <laughs> this is about saving a goddamn company. And I just we need our Teslas back. Do you want us to go to Mars? Do you want to, do you how, want to, to how, Mars about? how much fun do you have watching like rocket launches? A lot. Mm-hmm. Then give me your Tesla. Please give me the Tesla back. Because I can't keep rocket launch or can't do <laughs> can't keep on uh, launching rockets if I don't have money. And then you're like, so... okay, I guess. I mean, as long as I get a full refund. No! <laughs> right. We need the money and the Teslas. <laughs> do you have any idea how expensive rocket fuel is? <laughs> and the scientists! It costs a lot. Right? It's a lot of money. It's a lot of money. It's a lot of fun. But it's a lot of money. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> All right, let's move on to something I know that you can relate to uh, for the dumbest thing I was able to find this week. Okay. Zach, roll it. It's the apocalypse. One of my favorite things about what I'm about to show you mm-hmm. is how hard even the news outlets and reporters went on this dude. Okay. I don't know why it's so funny to me. I feel bad for the guy, but he did something really, really stupid. Okay. Uh, by the way, this was sent in by dummy Vez. Vez. Uh, so I'm going to push play on this. Uh, the footage of what happened doesn't start till a minute in, uh-huh. but I just want you to hear these people make fun of this guy. Wild scene at a Cintiline gas station. A man sets a gas pump and his car on fire as he tried to kill a spider. It was a big <laughs> mistake and it could have been deadly. Fox News, Sarah Nash here now with the crazy video. Darren. Yes, it's one of those stories, Hill. You can't help but ask yourself, what was this guy thinking? Luckily, no one was injured. And that's why oh the gas God. station employees are now having a little bit of fun with this man's moronic move that was all caught on surveillance. There's some people that are scared of spiders, but would you set it on fire? No. <laughs> How about while you're pumping gas? Wow. And if the spider just happened to be crawling on your fuel tank? Oh my God. Is that serious? Is that serious? 
what would I see? Is that a spider in there? Well, this guy <laughs> did, and yeah. Susan Adams watched the whole thing go the, down Tuesday morning. And the fire department makes fun of him. The like, they start mocking him. Like, I think I'm on fire. Watch this shit. He had a cigarette. He didn't have anything on him. So all of a sudden, I looked out, and I see flames. Mm -hmm. Susan kept calm, <laughs> hit the, the gas shit. automatic oh stop button, and quickly called the centerline fire department. The man grabbed a nearby extinguisher and put out the flames before firefighters arrived. <laughs> Later admitting to what he did, he spotted a spider on his gas tank. Because he is deathly afraid of the critters, uh -huh. he pulled out his lighter and decided to burn it. <laughs> oh my God. A rocket scientist to figure out what happened next. And employees at the gas station have been having fun with the video. Oh, sorry, it's the gas station employees. Since. Oh, yeah. I don't like spiders, huh? You know what they say about spiders. <laughs> Let me get my lighter here and burn that spider off. Okay. Oh, 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 geez, that's hot. Oh, boy. We say you've seen it on the camera. You dumb. So and so and so and so. Uh huh. I love how Fair. everyone just a collective was like, this guy is so stupid. But not, they're not wrong. No, absolutely not wrong. That is that is one of those things like that's such a Darwin award. Like like if oh, if man. he would have actually burned to death, it would, mm -hmm. yes, it would have been tragic. Uh -huh. But I but I wouldn't. I just to be honest, I wouldn't feel bad for him. Right. I'm like, well, yeah. You fucking put your lighter like in your gas tank, not like the hole right. there, as you're pumping gas to get. A, you're one of the dumbest motherfuckers. On, like, <laughs> that's just crazy that you, that that person can get a license. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like um, they, he's out driving around, right? Uh, and you're just hoping he, he obeys the rules and doesn't cross over the line. Maybe, maybe he has like a phobic fear of spy spiders, where like it's so irrational, it just overrides his brain. Sure. Oh, I mean, just wasn't thinking. What? He could have been fucked up. He could have done anything else. He was like, yeah. oh my God, uh, I have a lighter. I was going to set it on fire. And what a weird way. It's like of all the things you could use. I get wanting to kill the spider. Yeah, boop it with your hand. Yeah, you fucking bop it. Like, get or, something out of the garbage, you weirdo. <laughs> or the nozzle of the, of the you know, whatever. Drown it with gas. Yeah, the gas nozzle. Like, just pour it. gas on it. Right. Yeah. Spiders, just spiders don't deal well in fucking gasoline. I mean, you covered your uh, truck in gasoline that wasn't even a spider. Right. I just so did it because I'm dumb. Right. I just did it because I'm forgetful. <laughs> uh, yeah, but like, yeah, but that's like, oh my God. Uh, but I just can't imagine going to that length. Like, I've done a lot of dumb shit. Mm -hmm. That does make me feel better about myself. I mean, and I'm the guy who almost burned down my house, like, trying to get wasps. Yeah, trying to kill some fire wasps. This guy, thank God, is even dumber than me. <laughs> That's what it's all about. That's what it's all about. Sometimes it God, takes just yes. a, a lower bar yes! to make, make you realize that you do have a chance. I do have a chance. You have a chance. You, you can make a change, Dan. I'm not the worst fire decision maker. Every time I start a fire in mm. at my house. Mm. You think about me almost burning my... Mm. No, I, I wasn't, I I wasn't worried about burning my house I down, always I bring the gas. Uh, oh, yeah. I, I haven't brought this up. Mm -hmm. This just happened yesterday. You burned some hair off your arm? Yeah. Um, hey, I'm, I'm, I'm missing hair on my mm -hmm. upper arm because I did the gas thing and I threw the stick in Yeah, and it landed short of the fire pit. Yeah. So it's already gas in there. Yep. So, so I was like, ah, so I had to go over there. and I grabbed it and instead of grabbing it and then going back to where I was again, I just put it in mm, okay. and, and it just got bigger and bigger. And at that point, Aaron was like, oh my God, he goes, I wish I would have filmed that. <laughs> Because you look like a fucking idiot. But area. also, you, not as dumb as Spider Guy. <laughs> exactly. Not so that's even pretty sweet. close. Exactly. Pretty sweet. Can you imagine? No. Oh. Like, if you buy, I mean, if uh, only thing that, you know, compares to fire mistakes of just not really thinking. Yeah. Like that is like something with uh, electricity. Where you'd be like, oh man, like you'd reach up and like, like right. so just like grab a couple wires and put them together or something. You're not really right. thinking. You're like, oh yeah, whatever. Yeah, I whatever. Just, I just tie these together and you have a brain lapse. But even that, I can't justify looking at a spider on a gas tank and being like, burn it. <laughs> you know what? Flamethrower. And then, right. I, I mean, I, I don't know if he did the right or wrong thing because in the video, which we will post up the link in the episode description, yeah. he ripped the nozzle out. So he lit the gas tank on fire. Then he ripped the nozzle out and just whipped the flames all over the gas uh, pump. I wonder if that is better though because I wonder if his I, car would have blown up otherwise. Maybe. And, and I don't his, know. I will say to his credit... This idiot did go grab a fire extinguisher. He did. And he did put the fire out. <laughs> so he gets points on the back end. Yeah, no one does. It's, it's just the initial decision was like, how could you ever think that was going to be okay to do? <laughs> like, And what a victory. If wow. if if it would have blown up and maybe just... I'm, I'm not hoping that it would have killed anybody. But you're hoping it would have killed the spider. Right. Even if it would... No, okay, here's what I'm going from the spider perspective. If it would have killed the guy right. and blew up an entire gas station, that's a win. That's one spider. Mm -hmm. and just, took, about, just took down a fucking gas station. Just took it out. Mm -hmm. Like one little guy. You ever think you have enough power right. in this world? Right. Think about that spider. He fucks some shit up. I hope that spider be like... Have like the intellectual capacity just to have some spider version of like, fuck yeah. <laughs> well, so it walked away. Told you. Fuck yeah, bro. Look at me, mom. 
Mom and dad said I'd fucking do nothing. Mom and dad said I'd just fucking sit in the web, just, you know, jerk off. <laughs> right. I'd just fucking destroy the fire gas station. I'd blow up a fucking gas station, dude. <laughs> I'm going to tell uh, all my Take brothers. Take that, Charlotte. Because <laughs> <Right. laughs> that's hey. Charlotte's. Well, <laughs> <never mind>. oh. <laughs> Wilbur. That was Ed. Same movie. I'm going to tell all my, all, all 6,000 of my brothers and sisters. Tell, <laughs> t- tell them what I did. All right, let's move on to One Star Heroes. Let's do it. I'm excited for what you have this week. Roll it. I get no respect in real life. Always am upset. So I let them know I hate them on the internet. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, this recommendation, I'm very excited. This okay. is a nice little different one. Comes from the UK. Comes from dummy Fern Chisman. Okay. Who is a, a big fan. Actually, Fern said that uh, that our show should be prescribed as an antidepressant. So I thought that was very nice. That is fine. Mm-hmm. I like that. And then, and then uh, uh, Fern. I, I Fern's, imagine that, though. Like at a pharmacy? Yeah. You're like, oh, God, I'm in so much pain. Oh, my God. My arm, look at it. It's like all fried and burned yeah, and broken. Just go listen to this, we <laughs> Just go listen to this, we do Rip off a little prescription <laughs> ticket. Like, what the fuck? Comes back the next day. They curse a lot. <laughs> nah, just fucking loosen up. That's that's why you don't feel good. Because you're an uptight fuck. <laughs> right. Now get out of here. Here, double, do, double the dosage. <laughs> double the dosage. <laughs> here, check this out. <laughs> Certain episode. Go jerk off. This? Fucking DJ, whatever. Listen uh-huh. to some dumb. Stop being fucking stick in the mud, you piece of shit. I would love it at the, like a pharmacist saying that to somebody. Listen, you old piece of shit. <laughs> you know, at the end, you have to, and then he yells at him and just belittles him. And he's like, by the way, do you have any questions? Uh, you know, you have to fill a little bubble out. Like, did did, uh, did your pharmacist uh, assist you in any way? You have to say yes or no. <laughs> like, anyway, just say you, say you do client help. Okay. Anyway, fuck anyway, off. Fuck off, guy. Fuck off. See you when you're happier. Okay, so, the, uh, so what Fern uh, sent in, she said, she loves the Bic ballpoint pen uh, okay. reviews on Amazon. She sent me a link. I love a good pen. And what I love about this is we haven't we haven't done a product this inexpensive. <laughs> so this is w- what people are reviewing, and we have thirty six thousand seven hundred and ten ratings on Amazon for the Bic Crystal Original Ballpoint Pens Assorted Colors Pack of Ten. It is. One ninety-five. Now that's in pounds, but it's one ninety-five, right? You got red pens, green, blue, black, assorted. Damn, you know, that's cheap. It is so cheap. All these pens, and these are like the. I remember these as a kid. You know, like they are the, obviously, obviously, they're like the cheapest pens with little plastic case that gets cracked all the time, whatever. But but again, ten pack, <laughs> pound ninety-five. Right. So let's do some conversions to just show how ridiculous people are being. Okay. Uh, right now with current, you know, exchange rates, that is $2.76. All right. So, you know, basically let's say two seventy five. dollars So for 11 quarters, you get 10 pence. Okay. They're just over a quarter a pen. Okay. Now I'm going to go to this online calculator. Uh, oh no, I already did that. Okay. I skipped it. Um, that, that, yeah, that's, that's the cost per pen. 27, uh, almost 28 cents a pen. Okay. And that's weird that you're seeing these numbers cause I'm doing them mm-hmm. over here. Yeah. What numbers are you seeing? I have four, uh, four and a half football fields. Interesting. Mm-hmm. You, 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 that's a that's a Paisley calculator. Oh, sorry. One you, second. you need to get to a regular calculator like that, that doesn't that convert things into football fields and it's wrong. It does math. Okay, mm-hmm. one second. One second. Um, mm, no, I'm not seeing it. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> this this one says uh, this one says half a mile. Just to, is that right? <laughs> no. You, 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 one you, pen for just, half a mile. Just trust my calculator. Oh, okay. Okay. Fine. So twenty eight cents okay. a pen under that. Now let's now let's look at the pen market to get a feel <laughs> for how much pens cost. I guess picture the black market pen. <laughs> uh, you know, just a seller. Just a seller. These are the good ones. Some, some weird dark net site. Some like mechanical <laughs> pencils. No, I want a pen. No, this <sighs> this is just staples. And and you know, okay, so uh, we got uh, okay uh, twenty four pack for twelve ninety nine for these uh, Z grip retractable. So you know that's that's going to be more per pen. It's spendy. Mm-hmm, that's going to be uh, that's going to be about close to fifty cents a pen. And then you got this. Okay, here's a dozen of the soft feel retractable for eight twenty nine. Mm. Right, you're only getting two more pens, but you're spending way more dollars. Got a twenty four pack for nine ninety nine. You know, so, so I mean, you can just see by looking at these, you can get a feel really quick for. Okay, here's here's a cheap one. Um, oh wow. Okay. Look at this deal. Two seventy nine for a dozen. Okay. So you can get some pens that are in the ballpark of this. You can get two ninety nine. Okay. Okay. I'm, but but it's it, it's at the very low end, right? Of of what you would pay. And I would say that we started this episode today. Yeah. I didn't expect to give a fuck about ballpoint pens. About pen costs. And I'm I'm invested. Right. Like right now, I want to know what's going on with these pens. Mm-hmm. And I feel like I'm I've overpaid with pens probably my entire life, which oh. I'm not upset about. I'm, I'm a little upset about. It. Now these aren't colored. But this is the oh here it is here's on the staples the big crystal ballpoint medium point black ink ten pack 
One ninety nine. Okay. All right. So same same type of all right. So plastic crackable bullshit. Mm, same same type of plastic plastic crackable bullshit. But uh, but you're not being ripped off by these pens. And again, it's a it's a you know low purchase price. <laughs> so let's look at the people who give it five five stars. I just love the way some of these are written. We're just gonna look at two of these. Okay. First one, uh, LJC five stars. Classic Bic. Um, <laughs> these are all coming from the UK. These reviews. There's not a great deal to say about this product. After all, it's just a ballpoint pen. Exactly. Got it. Nonetheless, Bic's original pen still seems to hold up against others from different brands. It is comfortable to write with. The ink tends to last quite a while, and it's just the right size to fit snugly in most pen pockets. As a bonus, this pen comes in a multi-pack, so you'll never be without one. <laughs> Does what it says and what you want it to do. Good pen. Okay, fair. I, I, I don't know anybody in my life that wears a pen pocket, and I wish I did. I've known some. Uh, my like, former father-in-law would have uh, absolutely. Pens? Oh yeah, what? several several pens in the pocket. Uh, unless you're at, at work times. and you're an engineer and you're always writing, and I, there's a pen uh, or right? a mechanic, like things yeah. need to be there. He just but likes to have that, a pen like, handy. Like a day day to day person, I've never never witnessed it. It's rare. Okay, but I've I've, 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 have seen I've it. seen some. Mm -hmm. Okay, it exists. Uh, one more five star. You're, all, you're is... also ninety years old. Go ahead. Fair, fair. Back back in the 1920s when I was a kid, <laughs> I remember that it was like it was the norm. It was. <laughs> everyone's dad had hey, everyone's dad had a classic ballpoint pen hey. and in the pocket of the shirt. Be best things in sliced bread. <laughs> <laughs> All the bear cats and bibbles uh, had little pen. <laughs> down at the hop, at the hop, <laughs> down, down at the hop. <laughs> when we went uh, uh, sipping on the hooch, we'd get our pens and put them in the pen pockets. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Place in Foursquare. I don't know. Right. Yeah, sure. Uh, so X uh, five stars. They are pens. Um, love that they are blue. <laughs> I just love how simple. And that they use the blue for the lid at the end of the pen to match the ink. Genius. <laughs> now I confidently pick up the pen expecting blue ink, and the pen delivers. <laughs> no more inadvertently marking books with red or green again. Best bit. There are ten. Yes, ten of these. Okay. So you know, fair. Maybe too excited about it. <laughs> a, little, a little pumped on like how pens have always been. <laughs> It'd be weird. Hey guys, get this. <laughs> the color of the cap matches the ink of the pen. What? This is great. This I is, never noticed this, this before. This is gonna change my whole life. I picture them putting like yellow, yellow and purple tops. <laughs> right. Like what the fuck is this black? Like that's right. on you. Someone switched that on you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> now, uh, okay. So now let's go to the one stars. Starting oh, off with boy. Barry Hambling. Rubbish. <laughs> Rubbish. Bit of plastic. No, I love how crazy this gets. Barry's having some issues. <laughs> Barry then writes, "I'm in a strong signal area." This picked up very little. Got a better signal from just a bit of cable on its own. Would like to see what is in the little plastic case. It has no weight at all. <laughs> Would rate this no stars was made to leave one. Barry, what's going on with you? <laughs> Barry, why are you talking about signals when you're talking about fucking pence? Listen, I held it up and I still couldn't get the channel to come in. Right. It's not an antenna, Barry. <laughs> right, exactly. <laughs> I put my ear against it. I couldn't hear anyone I was trying to call. It's also not, it's also not a cell phone. Oh, I, right. wish the, I wish the big people would have let me know that this was not a cell phone or an old TV antenna. <laughs> I was in the middle of nowhere. Couldn't, it wouldn't tell me anywhere <laughs> GPS where I was at. It's like, no, nah, it's a fucking big pen. <laughs> it's not going to do it. I was trying to communicate with this pen and I couldn't get it to send one telegraph. <laughs> wait, what? Yeah. It's not working. I would tap it next to the wire. Right. No, wait, what, what's going on with you, Barry? <laughs> Here I am in the woods with eight horses. It's not a trailer. It's a it's a ball, it's a it's a pen. What? It's the smallest trailer I've ever tried to put my horses on. Sure, it writes well, but it makes my stomach hurt. <laughs> right. I don't like the taste. No, <laughs> Barry, Barry, God damn it. God damn, bro. No, it's not food. Yeah, oh, it's oh, terrible God. with hamburgers. He just he just thinks that this pen should literally be able to do anything. <laughs> right. I mean, the last bicycle I had was great. I tried to ride this, and I, I can't get it out of my ass. Uh, you said on a pen, Barry. Right. That was oh. not a bicycle. Oh. Oh, all right. At least the pens are black. Well, they should have put a warning on it. Right, exactly. Don't, don't sit on the pens and pretend they're a horse. <laughs> uh, Sweet X Chrissy, one star. Not happy. I ordered these as I thought they would be good value for money. <laughs> God damn. I love the way it's written. I thought they would be good value for money. <laughs> However, they have arrived smashed to bits. I have one pen out of four that is okay. And I do love... It's like, yeah, that's what happens to this style of pen. Sometimes I'm going to get mashed in the mail. Yeah, I got fucked up. Yeah, I got fucked up. <laughs> uh, if you don't want this style of pen... Like, I remember having these as a kid. They're always fucking mashed. Like you, I would bite you, them out of just, you know... Yeah, oh, crack, I'm a crumble. fidgety guy. Uh -huh. I'd bite them on purpose because that, that crack noise. Yep. You crack them all the way around. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it's like, what were you thinking? Like, get a non-crackable pen. That's on you for ordering this product. Uh, uh, and again, two dollars. Right, two dollars and seventy six cents with the exchange. Less than two pounds. If you're worried about them breaking while shipping, guess what? Everywhere else in the world sells them. <laughs> right. You go go for a walk five yeah, blocks. They have them at Seven Eleven. I mean, Zach, he comes home with a bunch of pens with his burritos. Mm -hmm, exactly. Every single time, they're in his burritos. Mm -hmm. Every third hot dog, they give him a ten pack of pens. <laughs> Same nutritional value. <laughs> The pens and the burritos. I would love that. Oh, dang it. You guys are out of hot dogs? Yeah, but we have pens. <laughs> oh, wow. Same amount of nutrients. <laughs> Same amount of plastic. <laughs> 
Love you, Zach. <laughs> no comment. So, so <laughs> Sam Johnson, one star, here writes, it makes your handwriting awful. <laughs> Probably not, Sam. Nope, Sam, that's you. <laughs> right. Your hand. That's your hand. You need to one star your hand <laughs> and your brain. I wish there was a way uh, to have him write in. Like there is a, you can see his handwriting. <laughs> There's like alcohol stains on it. Makes everything birth. <laughs> this made my marriage bad. I would love it if like with a different pen, he writes a letter that looks like it should be in, in a museum. Like some Elizabethan era, just perfect penmanship. And then he gets one of dab. these and it looks like a, like a six-year-old who just had a fucking head injury <laughs> right. and just learned how to write is trying to spell their name. A chimpanzee. A chimpanzee. <laughs> just trying to write Joe. Man, the pen really changed things. <laughs> really changed, uh, turned things around. I, I, I feel like he should be using that excuse in every scenario. He gets right. pulled over and he goes, oh, fuck, this pen made me speed. Oh, a fucking pen. <laughs> Breaking the law. All because of the, the pen. <laughs> you know what you did wrong today? Yeah, I bought a fucking 10 pack of pens from Amazon. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I can't eat them. Look at me. I he's got coke all over his face. Right. <laughs> like, I haven't like... been able to call my mom and I'm driving too fast. <laughs> what am I supposed to do with these pens? Here, you take them. You take them. What? You, you try you it out. The, this goddamn curse is what it is. <laughs> Paid two dollars and seventy six cents for a curse. <laughs> well, license registration. Okay, I'm oh, fine. Here. Fine. <laughs> uh, this is just somebody being goofy. Uh, then I'll get to the real negative. Phone booth one star. Big don't make razors like they used to. <laughs> Useless. I tried shaving my stubble for almost twenty minutes with one of these things. <laughs> Nothing. I want my money back. <laughs> All right. Okay, that's fair. That's fair. That's funny. <laughs> that's funny. And then this this you last one. Way too much effort into this, and maybe put more effort in, in learning how to write reviews <laughs> than thinking you're giving really like deep reviews on a two dollar product. Okay, Gabriel, true reviews is the subject. I am a person who uses pens for an average on four hours a day, <laughs> and so I know what a good pen looks like. Firstly, these are very affordable, which means they're good for people <laughs> on a budget. Okay. Secondly, and, and second, <sighs> not secondly, usually in this, when you set it up like this, you second, just, just go with first and second. You don't right. have to go firstly and secondly. Nope. Secondly, on the look side, they're not very good because they just see through. <laughs> with the wrong C. Yeah, with the S -E Water C, yeah. Which is very boring. What's the wrong boring? <laughs> they just see through, which is very boring. Why are you fucking grading a goddamn 25 cent pen on its aesthetics? <laughs> Like, it's beauty. Like it's not a fucking museum piece. It's a fucking cheap-ass pen. <laughs> like, it jumps back to the other dude, and he's like, he's writing the review, and he's blaming the pen on his grammar. <laughs> like, grammar went to shit ever since I got this fucking big pen. I had a PhD before this pen. Right. Looks like he's writing about a boat. <laughs> Boring and seas. Right, right. right. <laughs> Thirdly, on the recyclable side, recyclable, <laughs> supposed to be recyclable. God damn it. They're not recyclable. <laughs> they're not recyclable at all, which means that a hole, wrong hole, <laughs> Lot of fishes you're going to kill. <laughs> Next, they're quit gripey. <laughs> Supposed to be quite grippy, I think. Next, they're quit gri gripey, but only because they're made of a quit gripey plastic. <laughs> Not because they have rubber on them. Overall, I would only recommend them for a person who only uses it for things like quick note taking once or twice a day. What are you, some kind of fucking weird <laughs> pen expert? Gabriel, God damn it! <laughs> no, he just ruined my day. <laughs> like I, real? I had, a, I was having a great day until right now, and I know he's out there. I know, I don't know what you're good at, Gabriel, but pen reviewing is not it. No, this is not your, this is just not your place. <laughs> Nobody wants your pen reviews. <laughs> <laughs> I wish you could just tra track him down. He's been doing this for years. Pen your way, Gabriel. <laughs> You need a life coach. You need somebody to assess what you're good at, what you're not good at, and put you on the right track. Because you're spending too much time on just like reviews that no one gives a shit about. I don't normally suggest one of those, uh, you know, self help conferences. For Gabriel, I do. I do. And you know, they might give you a better pen. Gabriel needs a mentor. He comes with your own pen. Go sit down. Yep. Let him guide you. Gabriel needs some tough love. <laughs> somebody who's going to be like, well, listen, I was thinking about pens. Shut the fuck up, Gabriel. Why well, tell you about pens? No one wants your fucking pen advice, okay? All right, fine. <laughs> wow. Didn't... Now, what do you do today? Do you go to the gym? No. Why not? <laughs> do you look for a job? No, I was thinking about pens. Exactly. That's a problem with you, Gabriel. It's past pens with this guy. <laughs> too much, too much pen talk. <laughs> well, I just, I just want, I just thought it was too, it was, it was quite grippy. It's quite. Gri gri <laughs> now you got me saying weird shit. It's quite, what? It's quite gri grippy. Gri 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 <laughs> ah, fuck. Fucking Gabriel. <laughs> I just love the way that was written. <laughs> Okay. Oh, is that was that it? That was, oh, yeah. Sorry, oh, damn. I didn't even Fuck say. Me. I just started to turn. I love that I don't even say that it's over. I just like okay. I'm just done talking. <laughs> right. Anyways, I just, Zach, move on. What Fuck that, this thing. What if that? That's my thing now. When I'm done with the conversation, I just, just stare rotate at me. my chair. <laughs> and don't say anything for I the rest anything. of the show. We're joking around, and then I just wait for the next segment. I'm just like, yeah. Anyway, Gabriel, and then I just rotate around. <laughs> 
next. Zach, do it. <laughs> Sliver of hope. <sighs> Now I want to do that at like dinners, like if I had a swivel chair. I, I, you share out, like out an to, amazing story oh, out to dinner with Lindsay. Uh-huh. And I, yeah, exactly. I just finish my story and then just go whoop and just, just rotate around. Turn. Now Start we're looking done. at no, the no, no. table next to you. We're done talking about that now. <laughs> right. Push your food away. <laughs> Slide your food towards her and just turn around. What the fuck's going on with you? Check. <laughs> we're done. <laughs> we've Story's been, over. We've been done. I'm done talking. So this is done. I don't, no, I don't care what you're saying. Never have. <laughs> just like what the fuck wow who's wow, that guy so mean so mean this guy alright so Sliver of Hope is when we look at a good story okay because we look at a bunch of dumb shit and uh-huh. I want to see uh, an example of good stuff yeah this was sent, sent in by dummy Christina and it was sent in by Christina herself and it's talking about her mom so okay. hey dummies my husband and I are avid listeners of all things dumb, scary, and sucky. Oh, that's nice. He's a space lizard, and I listen to the secret suck in the car with him so I guess that makes me a space hitchhiker yes I, I like it I get it so I want to share a story with you in hopes it may qualify as a sliver of hope for Is We Dumb. This is my mom, and she just turned 70 years old in May. She has COPD and was especially affected by the COVID-19 uh-huh. pandemic, which caused her to stay home at all times, no exceptions. She even lost her uh, part-time job at the <sighs> hospital because of the high risk of her being exposed with a pre-existing condition. Yeah. What is so special about her is after an understandably uh, stent of moping around, she decided to do something to make a difference. Mm. She makes handmade quilts for local heroes like nurses, doctors, military, etc. She completed 40 quilts to say thank you to ICU nurses at Vanderbilt Hospital working wow. with COVID-19 patients is in the process of completing one for a wounded veteran. She is not doing this for any other reason than she wants to do something good while she can. I am humbled by her and hope to one day have the type of selflessness that she has. Uh, your friend and dumb, Christina, love it. So there is an article uh, that goes along with what she just said. Yeah. Uh, but it does say basically what I just said. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, oh, that's so nice. Yeah, it's Christina's absolutely mom. amazing. Exactly. Uh, so let's go on and make sure that we have, uh, you know, Ethan Lembarg's story. Uh, you know, uh, he's, he's surviving the suicide bomber attack in a platoon in Afghanistan. He's mm-hmm. the one that is getting, you know, the, the quilt made for him right Aww. now that she mentioned. So the last five months, Linda Solorino. Have been searching for hero- heroes in her community. She found one while watching our story earlier in the week of a veteran who put his life on the line overseas. So she was watching the news, wow. heard about this story, and she's continuing to do these types of things uh, in her area. Which does remind me mm-hmm. that if you're, and, and we've had plenty of examples of this for Sliver of Hope, yeah. is maybe sometimes you're thinking about this gigantic impact that right. you could make. Yeah, like this, this, don't have to, this yeah. huge organization you're yep. going to start, this giant nonprofit to change, you know, change mm-hmm. some lives. Mm-hmm. Uh, and again, this is another reminder that you can just make a huge difference uh, in your community. Yep. With just a certain people, focus your viewpoint yep. and, and plan your attack. And you can do stuff like this just by uh, making quilts and they the, will love it. Absolutely. The, the, this is a... Uh... I think about this sometimes the easiest thing you can do. Let's say like you don't have the time to make something. Just being super nice to a stranger can just change the trajectory of their entire day, mm-hmm. week, whatever. Yeah. Like just taking the time to like somebody you don't even know, like, hey, I really like your shoes. Those are awesome. What you, you know, like, right. uh, you know, and then just like build them up and just be really nice and leave them with that moment. Mm-hmm. Like you don't know how much that means to them. Like somebody right. who might be in like a, a shitty relationship where they never get complimented and they have a job where they're not appreciated. Mm-hmm. And then they just like, that's, it's like fucking water on a plant that's about to be all dried up. <laughs> and then the plant's like, oh, <gasps> Look at me. I'm alive. People do see me. Yeah. 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 So, uh, so keep it up. Keep all, on doing all the, the things are important. The good things in humanity so we can keep on mm-hmm. uh, showcasing those on Sliver of Hope. And if you have something like that, you can send it in to dumb at isbedumb.com. We love taking a look at the good side. Yeah. And, and one last thing. <laughs> this is more for guys. If um, sometimes your dick is sad and it's, oh. and it's drooping down. Mm-hmm. And if you just give it a little attention mm-hmm. and you just rub on it, you want to rub it back and forth rhythmically. Rub it on stuff too. And you can rub it on stuff and then it rises up and it's happy again. And then compliment it. And then compliment <laughs> it and then, and then finish. Right. And then that way you've done something for something else. Well, you know? I, Some it, people call it selfish, but I'm like, yeah, but my dick feels like a different entity. <laughs> so sometimes if I don't if I don't have you know the interest in like you know building somebody else up, mm-hmm. I build my dick up. I love that the lesson here is you build your dick up <laughs> and then you beat it and then it gets sad again. <laughs> Like, that's what you just... I know. You just like, turn this into a weird... Yeah, halfway uh, <laughs> into that absurdity, I was like, oh, this doesn't actually work as an analogy. 
but I was, I was trying to keep going with it. You just built it up, made it so happy, so happy, beat the shit and, out of it, made and it sad. And made it again. <laughs> so never mind. So just focus on the stuff we said before that. Forget what I said about the jerking off. All right. Next thing, Zach. Let's roll it, bud. The internet has all sorts of neat things. Anything you want can be yours. Let's take a peek together as a couple to you from internet. Together. To you from internet, just weird things that we find online. This one's mm-hmm. one that I came across, and it's just in time for the warmer months. I wish I had this growing up. A pool punisher inflatable toy with squirt gun, swimming accessories <laughs> for kids, teens, and adults, giant size outdoor water toys for lakes and beach. I love the fucking descriptions that Amazon has for these things. Instead of saying like floatable like or water tank, uh-huh. like pool water tank. It must affect the way it's it like comes to. up in a, in a search. For teens, kids, and adults. Yep. They like want how about all for, those words. It's on the sale for the internet. So how about uh, anybody <laughs> is, can buy it without having to say that? I, yeah. Look at this thing. I just, I, I just before, the, the, I picture somebody asking for this product. <laughs> like, no one would talk that way. Hey, uh, do you guys have a pool punisher inflatable toy with squirt gun swimming accessories for kids, teens, and adults, giant size outdoor water toys for lakes and beach swim stuff for summer? You know what? Actually, we do. We have two in back. We have two in the back. Let's go grab one. <laughs> oh, we did yesterday when I checked. Let me go check again. Uh, no, so, I'm sorry. We're out of the pool punisher inflatable toys with squirt gun. <laughs> but we do have. <laughs> yep, so many things. But look at this thing. It's yeah, got, it was a cool. Yeah, you pump cool it up. Toy. Pump it up with your, I believe, your feet. Oh, little wow. feet slots, and you have the squirt gun through the through the front. Now I feel like in a toy How like awesome this, is that? it is awesome. And I feel like uh, you know you, you get it out. You, the kids are having their battle, or you're having a battle with it. It's a lot of fun. But this is one of those toys that very quickly is making dads angry mm-hmm. and making moms angry. Yeah, we're, squirting we're, the, mm-hmm. the grandma and grandpa yep. off to the side and hey, enjoying the drink. Hey, <laughs> no, hey, buddy, no more, no more of the tank squirting. Keep it in the pool. Keep it in the pool. And then like five minutes later, hey, what did I say about keeping it in the pool? Quit squirting the windows. Stop it. Right. Stop squirting your sister. Right. All right? She's crying. I'll take it away from you. And then like, like that ends in tears. That ends in you popping it. Like yes. running in the pool with scissors. Mm-hmm. And you're like, you did this! And they're like snipping the pool like side. Did I ever if you have an above ground pool. I've ever told you about like how the kids, you know, like uh, like like balloons and stuff for their birthday. Mm-hmm. And uh, they would like, I don't know. They, they, I, balloons annoy me. But there were like certain inflatable toys like that. Where I, I couldn't just um, justify just totally getting rid of them, but if there was nothing wrong with them. But if they got popped, then the kids would understand, like, oh, okay, because you have to throw them away. Uh-huh. So I would just get, like, a knife or whatever like that, and I would just pop their stuff and be like, wow, it's not working anymore. we got to get rid of it. And, <laughs> I've done I, it. and then I would just throw it away. You've done it, too? Uh-huh. I'm like, God, it sucks. It's not yeah. working. All right. But I fucking was the one who selected a sneaky little, like, mm-hmm. stab. They'll fight over a ball. I've done it with toys, too. Mm-hmm. Like, and there's some break toy it? they fight over, and I fucking break it. Yes. Like, I will smash it on the ground mm-hmm. and make sure it doesn't work. And I'll just put it back ah, in the sucks. toy bin. Right. Like, oh, my God, that's so weird. That annoying toy broke. Oh, that toy that you guys fought over, like, for four days in a row doesn't work anymore. <laughs> that's that crazy. sucks. Maybe, maybe Santa will get one for you. <laughs> like, Dad, it's, it's the, it, Christmas was yesterday. Huh? Um, I had to wait a while. <laughs> it was less than patience. <laughs> <laughs> I tried. Yep. I, I had patience, too. Yep. And, like, they're like, it's from Santa. And you just, like, out yourself. I'm like, I never would have bought it if I was new that I, it was that annoying. I never would have got it if you guys I didn't know both of you guys would have liked the same fucking toy. Like, that was from Santa. And you're like, fuck. I remember my, um, remember my own childhood now and like toys would go missing. And I wonder how many of those toys were actually just intentionally thrown away by like my mom or dad. I think we had a time for an interrogation. Mm hmm. Cause I, yeah, cause I've definitely, yeah. I wonder how many, I wonder how many parents do that. Like I've definitely done that myself uh-huh, where, done you're, where you're just like, I cannot fucking handle how noisy this toy is. Uh, the next time they lose, lose track of it, it's just disappearing. Yeah. And then we're like, Hey, have you seen my, uh, I don't know. I don't know where it is, buddy. Ah, oh, it's crazy. It's not my job. Yeah. You, you gotta keep track of your stuff. It's your toy. <laughs> not my toy. I, I know exactly where the sex toys are. What? Yes, I'm not what was that, Dad? <laughs> Nothing? Right. Forget about it. I know exactly where the dildos are. Huh? I hack you don't know where your dump truck is. <laughs> Gotta keep track of your toys. That's on you. All right, so this next one is something, speaking of sex toys. Yeah. Good segue. Did you know this is actually something that you can buy? A glass vibrator urn. How does that make you feel? Uh, so you, nice. here's a, a vibrator oh, that you can fill with the ashes no. of uh, a loved one that has no. passed. And then you can fuck yourself with it. Too uh, far. Too far. Too far. That's it? That's too far? That's the uh, line? I don't like it. it comes I guess, the, you know, whatever. A little lockbox. I'm not, gonna, I'm not gonna. Yeah, I mean, if you want to get it, get it. But for me, that's that's sad. That would be even sad if it broke even inside if, you. Even if it comes with I a gas it. station burrito, I'm against it. <laughs> Fair. <laughs> you put a burrito in there, you'd fuck it. I know you would. What if it bro- broke inside you and with then the ashes? ash infected you, mm. and your lover killed you from beyond the grave? But then we'd, we'd cover it on time suck. <laughs> True crime. True crime, kind of. <laughs> kind of. An unintentional true crime. <laughs> the funnest kind. Uh, super expensive, though. 
Like he That's makes them. So weird. And I watched a video of a guy. Like he doesn't have them just in stock, mm-hmm. but you can order them, and then he will he will make it. And that is gold inside of the of the dildo urn. Yeah, like you saw that again. Yeah. These weird ass links. We will put them in the episode description. So you can go check them out for yourself. And if you have a bunch of money that you don't mind wasting on fucking yourself with dead people. Somebody somebody has shoved their mom up their ass. Oh, God damn. That somebody, reminds me. Somebody has, somebody has for sure gotten that or something like that and sh- had their mom's ass in it and shoved it up their ass. Mm. Or dad's, you know, whatever. I don't know if I've shared this story on here. Do you shove your mom up your ass? Mm. Yes. <laughs> Next segment. I would love, I would love it if this took the weirdest turn. And like, yeah, what does yeah. this have to do with um, your mom and your ass? Exactly. <laughs> no, what were you saying? All right. This was something that happened on another show that we do called Secret Suck. Okay. Where a listener called in and he, it, the challenge was uh, talking about things that you've stuck in your ass. Right. Uh, as we do. Yeah. Uh, that show, that topic would fit very well here. Yes. <laughs> It'd be a yes. funny little thing. What have you shoved in your butt? Uh, and this particular guy fucked himself with a dildo that he took out of his mom's drawer. Oh. And then he found out that his mom made yeah. the dildo cast out of his stepdad's dick. Oh my God. So he's fucking his ass about with the mold of his stepdad's dick. I forgot about that. And um, it's so funny. <laughs> <laughs> so. What a weird so life funny. moment. And I, I mean, a lot of thoughts come and go in my brain. Oh but God. this was that was over a year, maybe two years ago. You still think about it sometimes? Sometimes. <laughs> Fucking every day. I go, oh man, that's funny. <laughs> I just go back to what I'm doing. And if I have uh, shared that on here, I'm sorry. I could have. Like, you have maybe, not. You okay. have not. I don't think you've shared that on here. Okay. Anyway. Uh, so that, uh, <laughs> that's fine. <laughs> What's worse? Fucking yourself with your, your mom's ashes or... Fucking yourself thinking it was just a dildo and your stepdad's oh cologne. Oh my God, I don't know. That's fun. Okay. That's just something to think about for next week. Yeah, yeah, just we'll, fun thoughts for next week. We'll bring week. it in. All right, let's, uh, let's go to the final segment, Zach. It's Chuck Mail. In my brain, that guy is a celebrity. Whoever fucked his ass with his stepdad's dildo or <laughs> clone. Like that, I would... I would. I don't. I don't freak out when I meet uh, people. Yeah. But if I meet that like, listener, that's I'm like, that's the guy. That's the guy that did it with the dildo. With I, dildo. Think, I think about you so much. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I guess wash dishes. You have, no, you have changed my life, bro. <laughs> you changed my <laughs> you life. Changed my life. Oh, it changed everything. I left my family. <laughs> I got molds of a bunch of my family members' dicks. I, <laughs> I just... can't stop laughing. My family left me because I can't stop laughing. And all I'm thinking about is you fucking accidentally fucking yourself and cloning <sighs> your stepdad's dick. So our first piece of junk mail coming in from Dummy Jake, who writes, Hey, Dan and Joe, I grew up on a reaching cowboy or grew up in a reaching cowboy family, so I know a little bit about cows. Mm-hmm. Cows are a lot tougher than people think. Even baby cows will fuck your shit up if you get in a fight with one. If you tried to punch a cow to death, you just end up shattering all the bones in your hands. I'm ashamed to say, but I have punched a cow before. It was in a chute, uh, you know, like the yeah. you know channel for anyone who has nothing to, has no idea what that is. It's like the it's like a metal cage. Basically, you're forcing them to go in a particular way. Yeah, that's yeah. the chute. And I was taking the rope off its horns, and it hooked me in the arm. In anger, I punched it in the face and thought I broke my fucking hand. On another note. I've been knocked out by a cow. That's a long story. Anyway, love the show. Keep it up. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to ask. Feel I, free to ask. I, I know this isn't how it happened, but I pictured the cow just like standing up on its hind legs and just like throwing like a right hook, <laughs> just knocking him out. <laughs> or whipping him with his tail. <laughs> 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 a hoof, a hooving. <laughs> <laughs> Our next piece of junk mail is coming in from Dummy Choo Shoe. I'm going with. Hey, Fred and Barney, quick story about punching cows. My grandma, uh, grandpa had his own farm in Mexico, and he had about 10 cows that he would milk every morning. My grandpa was also ripped as hell when he was young, like Dwayne the Rock Johnson side biceps, and also had a short temper. That's a good okay, combination. Okay. What could go wrong? Yeah. Anyway, he had this one cow that no matter how hard you milked it, it would barely fill half a bucket, and the cow also didn't like to be milked. I didn't know that there was a difference between the, like, the aggression levels of milk and a cow. <laughs> Like if you're just doing your, right, like a normal right. thing. You ever milked a cow? I've milked a cow. I have not actually. Uh, well, chalk it up for one thing. I'm better at, probably. Did you? Uh, where'd you get to milk a cow at? I, I grew up on friend. I had friends. Oh, your friends, friends had farms. farms. Yeah. Okay. Bunch of bunch of cowboy friends. Yeah. Uh, it's not fun. I would not recommend it. It's weird. <laughs> Squeezing super big nipples. That's what it's like. But I would. I, I love how it was just like no matter how hard you milked it. Get, 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 Come on, cow. The cow bucket. <laughs> I, I love like, like piece of shit. <laughs> setting this up like the cow just being an asshole. No, I don't want to give you milk. <laughs> like holding it in. Yeah, like mm, I'm saving ah, this. I'm gonna save my milk. <laughs> I'm turning this straight into cheese. <laughs> 
It's a, yeah, it's a callback. You got it. <laughs> Chuck it out. Yeah. So one day, he was trying to milk this cow, and she just kept squirming around and giving him a hard time, and he knocked over the milk bucket. <laughs> Last bad move, cow. Mm-hmm. Spilling all the milk he had worked oh, so hard boy. to get. So my grandpa stands up, throws a right hook at this cow, oh hits it God. square in the jaw, and knocks her out. Ooh. Wow. The cow slumps over unconscious, and my grandpa is holding his hand in pain, yelling Eve every curse word he knows at the cow. Love the show. You guys always crack me up, and I can't wait to hear what you have in store for us for the live show. Again, June 10th. Uh, <laughs> three out of five stars. Wouldn't change a thing. <laughs> Chushu. Chushu. That's intense. Mm-hmm. Man, grandpa is not somebody to be fucked with. No. A- anybody who can... Anybody who can out a cow? and actually has right hooked a cow to the face... <laughs> And knocked it out <laughs> is not somebody you want to piss off. I don't know why I hear it in like a. They're not going to hesitate to punch you in the octagon. Like grandpa's out there mm-hmm. and they're given the weird stats at the right. s- at the start of it. Be knocked out a cow. Like, uh, rough, rough up, uh, upbringing. His his parents had almost nothing. Uh, and he he's knocked out a cow. And like just like and our other fighter in the other corner, <laughs> just like what the fuck did you say? He punched out a cow. Do you remember the early days of UFC? <laughs> Barely, but yeah. yeah. You probably are too young for this, but Tank Abbott, does that name ring oh, a bell? Yeah, yeah. He he's the guy that I picture of like the early UFC it would like that would be like on his bio. <laughs> Just like other weird they used, stat. They used to talk about like what kind of martial arts they would you know do. They don't really talk about that. It's just all MMA. Like they don't mention it. Yeah, yeah, but they'd always but it would be like karate guy versus jujitsu guy. Mm-hmm. And I, I'll never forget this thing. It was so funny as a kid. It was like all these different you know martial arts: Brazilian jujitsu, and then you know kempo karate, and then street fighter. <laughs> it was it was like just a guy who was not in shape <laughs> who could just throw some really heavy punches, <laughs> and who'd just been in a lot of bar fights. <laughs> you said street fighter, and I, I Tekken, oh, t- Mortal Kombat. <laughs> Very good at video games. And it's just yeah. it's like butterbean, like it's just like that shape. And you're like, right. yeah, of course. I got to start training shit. Uh, undefeated with Ryu. <laughs> right. Oh, all right. All right well, I don't know how this can translate here. Good luck. <laughs> I do. <look> at- <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, last piece of junk mail. Okay. You ready to dive into this? So yeah. our last piece here, coming in from Dummy uh, Anonymous. He's wishing to remain anonymous because mm-hmm. it involves semen mm-hmm. <laughs> in places it shouldn't be. Hello, Dan and oh. Joe. I'm a fan of all that is bad magic, and I'm Thank happy you. to see that your company not only survived the pandemic, including you all personally. I feel like Thank that you. was kind of geared to me. Yeah, you lived. <laughs> I lived. Yeah. But that your company also had the ability to grow and expand while Very everyone lucky. else struggled and died. Uh, I didn't oh. say that. Expand oh. while helping others uh, make it through 2020 and yeah. beyond. Thank you. Anywho, I was personally touched by Dan's admission to grudge fucking his stepmom's decorative oh pillows as a teen. Oh, great. Now, as a teen myself, I had a good run of creating artificial vaginas out of couch cushions, pillows, and other household items. Walking around the house, be like, can I fuck it? Will this fit in my butt? Will this fit in my butt? However, that's a fun game. He's uh, walking around and be like, what fits? Can, can this fit in my holes? Can I fit in this or can this fit in me? Oh, parents are gone. Can I put this? Does this fit in my butt? <laughs> Ding, 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 what ding, can ding. I fit into? Slash, what can fit into me? <laughs> Just always play. <laughs> can this fit? It's a lamp. Mm. It cannot. And then you have to wash it. <laughs> it's, it's, a, it's a fun personal game show. Uh, but you don't know unless you try. <laughs> okay, so however, uh, this is about using semen as a weapon of vengeance and payback. So to oh keep no. the story short, it takes place with a live-in girlfriend and a breakup. Since she was the cheating party in the relationship, she leaves immediately after being caught, but eventually has to return for her stuff. This God. event is planned to happen while I'm at work so that there is no confrontation between us. Standard. Since I know the, what day she is coming, I start coming <laughs> the evening prior to her arrival. I don't want to make things too obvious, so I make my baby batter deposits and few things that will help to camouflage the evidence, like her shampoo, conditioner, oh and her God. bottle of coffee creamer in the fridge. Yep, I am disgusting meat sack. But at least I know how. Uh, at least I know that I am not alone in weaponizing human male no. ejaculate against other meat sacks. I'm the worst role model of all time. Well, or the best. <laughs> I mean, he's sad. He seems sad. Satisfied customer. <laughs> he seems like he's like, then I did it. And I've never, no regrets ever. I would, I would, that would be so fucked. We just get all these messages. You know what? I was, I've been holding back all these years, <laughs> but now I'm just going to come on all my enemies. No, I was just, I was embarrassed by what I did. I was telling the terrible, no, dear, no, no, no. I get it now. Dear, I see what you're saying. Dear Dan and Fred. Dear Dan and Fred. We should all come on everybody's stuff. No, no, no. That's right. not what I was 
trying to advocate. I fucked my boss's chair. <laughs> God damn it. Thanks to you, Dan. <laughs> I, ca- I came my boss's wife. <laughs> they, hey. When my boss wasn't looking, I came on his toupee. <laughs> All thanks to you. No, please stop. Stop this it. This is like sexual assault. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. We've been joking around about how we have to start a Patreon for Is We Dumb. And the only thing, we don't we don't give you extra content. Uh, it's just so we can hire uh, lawyers. Exactly. That's all we want. Just lawyer fees. Right. And then we can really open things up around here. <laughs> I appreciate all that you, you and your team do. Wish you the best in the future. Three out of five dummies wouldn't change a thing. Oh, thank you. Good for you. Way to go, bud. <laughs> I will. I, I do. I have mean, to the for, consistency of shampoo, conditioner, I, and creamer. I, I do mean, have to say for my conscience, don't do that. Why? Don't attack people with your semen. Do it. <laughs> it's got to be illegal. No, Zach. Camera here. Do it. <laughs> it's the call to action. It, it's the call to action. Shut up. Shut up. I want you to come with some stuff. Like anybody you don't like, fuck it. Fuck all their possessions. You just come on them. See what happens. The worst that could happen. Give it a shot. Anyway, what were you saying? Please don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> please, please don't do what Joe just said. Oh God, this has gotten real dark. <laughs> we'll just see. don't. Just Let's don't. See what happens. Just don't. Let's just, just don't. Uh, okay, you can't use that. Just did. Just did. Oh, just did. Oh boy. <laughs> just, <laughs> Using our own catchphrases against it. You're, you're just trying to save the show. And I'm every, like, just fucking why? Every time we've hit rock bottom, <laughs> or I think we've hit rock bottom, like, nope, there's a little further further to go. We're just getting started. <laughs> We're not even a year in. <laughs> We're not even a year oh, in. Oh, God. All right. Okay. Thanks to Zach Flannery for producing and directing. Meh. Sorry for all the jokes at you today, kind of. Meh. Just, you know. I am just including you in the show. Right. <laughs> I'm happy to be a part. Meh. How can we talk about Zach? Let's talk about how unhealthy he is and how he might die at any moment. <laughs> Thanks to Zach Cohen for creating some of the custom music beds for the show. Logan Keith, I heard you laughing out there. Um, best merch in the podcast game. We have a ton of new merch. And again, yes. we have the live Is We Dumb just over a week away from today, June 10th. It's going to be at looplive.com. You can buy your tickets and your exclusive merch right now at badmagicmerch.com along with all the other Is We Dumb threads. And you can find all that again. It's just going to link you over at iswedumb.com. If you can't remember, badmagicmerch.com. Yeah. Just remember the just, name of the show. Yeah, there you go. Fucking it. If you can't do that, then fuck off. <laughs> You're done. That's it. Be sure to follow us on Instagram and Facebook at Is We Dumb. Uh, big shout out to Liz Hernandez and the All Seeing Eyes for moderating the private Facebook group Is We Dummies, continuing to grow and grow. We're going to get shut down. <laughs> like, I've been joking around about it, yeah. but it's gotten to the point where I log in, there's like 30 things that are reported. So we'll see. It's, it's, <laughs> we'll on, see. it's on its way out. We, it's been fun. We might have a new little like social subgroup pack for Is We Dumb as well for you to make your own little Facebook groups. Little branch outs. We inevitably get shut down. <laughs> Subscribe to our YouTube channel at Bad Magic Productions so you can be updated and alerted with notifications whenever Is We Dumb, Time Suck, or Scared to Death drops a new video. And if you have something you want to see on the show, dumb at iswedumb.com. And if you have a question about anything, like what you should fucking come in. <laughs> Info at isbedumb.com and then rate and review the podcast wherever you listen to us. Okay. Fine. Fine. I'm going to make you, I think, I think I'm going to get you one or get you one. I'm going to get you one. Hey, ho! With our laugh for the, uh, the dad joke. You ready? I'm ready. All right. Then. Hey, you want to hear a joke? Wow. Made dad joke. All right. We should have a boob slipper. Okay. I accidentally sprayed some deodorant in my mouth. Yeah. Now when I talk, I have this weird accent. Nope. <laughs> Come on. Fuck you, bro. I get it. Fuck this place. Next week. Bye. Yes, we go. Yes, we go. Add magic productions.